Hi there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. Well, it's autumn here in the Northern Hemisphere. Leaves are changing, birds are migrating, and everything reeks of pumpkin spice. Ah, fall changes. And of course, with all these changes come new things to wonder about. I wonder if my favorite sports team will make it to the Super Bowl, or the Stanley Cup Finals, or the Transcontinental Curling Championships. I wonder if I'll have to sit next to a strange new relative I've never met before at Thanksgiving. And of course, while a lot of these questions will remain unanswered for a while, there is one thing you may be wondering about that can be answered straight away. What's that, you may ask? Why, the quality of the air in your home, your office, or your workshop. And how much you be able to do that? Oh, with the new SparkFun indoor air quality sensor. This board harnesses the power of the Sciosense ENS160 Digital Metal Oxide Multi-Gas Sensor. It offers TrueVoc air quality detection with industry-leading purity and stability, providing outputs such as ECO2, TVOC, and AQI in compliance with worldwide AIQ standards. The chip also performs humidity and temperature compensation, as well as baseline management, giving the user superior output stability over the whole T and RH operating ranges, as well as effective ozone compensation. It offers wide operating ranges across the board. Its operating voltage range is 1.71 to 1.98 volts VDD and 1.71 to 3.6 volts VDDIO. Operating temperature range is negative 40 to plus 85 degrees Celsius. And its humidity operating range is from 5 to 95%. Its independent sensor heater control gives highest VOC selectivity and outstanding background discrimination. There's a pair of quick connectors for I squared C control and standard space PTH for breadboarding. On the back of the board, you'll find jumpers for I squared C resistors, I squared C address, and LED power should you need to reduce current draw from its already low average draw of 29 milliamps. Since this chip meets or exceeds international IAQ standards, it makes this board ideal for applications such as building automation, HVAC, smart home, home appliances, and of course, IoT. Let's see if we can't do a quick example for you. So, I've got a few chemicals here, all of which will be picked up by the sensor. Let's give it a try. Choose to start with one at random. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, this one. Now, it's important to remember when working with potentially noxious or volatile chemicals not to open multiple vials at once. Uh, a few moments later. It's also important to remember that the more common name for trichloromethane is chloroform. I'll try another one. What's this guy? Oh yeah. Whoa, there it is. And of course, if you're looking at a serial monitor, you'll be able to see TVOX and CO2 and all that stuff more clearly. But if you need a canary in the cave, this is a pretty good indicator. With its on-chip heater drive control and data processing, this board is incredibly easy to get up and running and simple to customize for your needs with our open source Arduino library and examples. So to keep check on the air quality in your place, pick up the new SparkFun indoor air quality sensor. Get it over at sparkfun.com. And of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. the Stanley Cup Finals, or the Pan-Continental Curling Championship. It makes the board ideal for applications such as, what's the first one, I wonder? Thank you. There is one thing you may be wondering about that can be answered straight away. Or what might straight away? Yeah, straight, straight away. Kind of yeah, straight away. Hi there, Spark. Sorry. <laughs>